Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over the config RB file. And the reason why we're going to be getting into this now is because in the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be going over some stuff like generating sprites where a uh, compass really needs to know the organization structure of your project. And by default, compass sort of assumes certain things. And uh, let's say your project is already set up and you've installed compass into a project that pre-exists, um, it's not going to necessarily know where things like your images folder are. So this config RB file tells Compass where that uh, those directories are located. So let me show you where that is. Uh, it should have installed in the base of your Compass installation. So as you can see, you know, uh, when we first installed this, I had my files in a CSS folder, and then when we installed uh, compass it created the sass and the style sheets folder however if we would have edited this config.rb file from the start we could have put our sass files and our css files in any directory or we could have left them in the same directory um, so let's open this up and uh, as you can see um, there's various options specified I've actually gone in here and told it where my fonts directory is and I've said it's in the folder fonts um, your images directory, I've told it that it's in the folder image. Um, if you notice there is, actually isn't a fonts directory there right now, I think I might have hidden this folder. Okay, so there we go. And uh, JavaScript directory, we don't have a JavaScript directory, but I usually name mine JS, so I'm just going to change this for fun. Um, and our SAS directory, our CSS directory, and our HTTP path. Cool. So this isn't all there is to this config.rb file. In fact, there's tons of configuration properties, but chances are um, you won't need to touch a lot of these, especially if you're just doing sort of basic implementation of this and you just want to tell Compass where your images and your JavaScript and everything is living. So, you know, as far as touching this, just be aware that it exists and um, you don't always have to have your images or your SAS or your style sheets in the folders that they've given you by default. And if you're using something like CodeKit, which is an application that will compile and watch your Compass or SAS files for you and even minify them on output, um, Comp or CodeKit will actually ask you where the locations of these things are and fill out this config RB file for you. Um, when you're initializing your project and saying, hey, I'm using Compass. So in the next lesson, we're going to start getting into sprites. And, and that's going to be important because it's going to be looking in this image directory. So if your image directory is not set correctly, uh, it won't know where to find those images. And that could be a problematic issue for you. So that's it for this config RB file. I suggest reading over this documentation. There's really too much to go over in this tutorial other than just to know that this stuff exists and if you want to point compass at your files, this is where you do it. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson where we do sprites with compass. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching.